Number One Tech Steve here. Welcome back to another calibration video. Today we have the Hisense U7N. Now keep in mind, I'm going to give you my best settings from the calibration software, but it may not match up with your particular television because calibration has to be done for each television. So these settings may or may not work. Before we get into the calibration, I just want to show you the points. And it looks like a lot of the magenta or the red zones was off on this television. But after the calibration, you can see that a lot of the colors were more back in line. And now the TV has a better look to it according to the Calbin software that I'm using to create this video. To get these settings, I used a pattern generator connected to a computer and also used a color checker. And along with this software, it was able to calibrate the TV with the automatic software that this Hisense has built right into it. Before I show you the TV with the calibrating settings, I will say that calibration may not be something you need. So what we have here is theater night mode and it has a really good picture to it. And I think most people will be happy with this when watching movies. Next, we're gonna switch over to theater day mode. And what it does is it makes the TV just slightly brighter. And it's because you might have windows and things like that in your room. And this allowed the TV to have a brighter picture. And this is the calibrated settings. If you notice the picture is a lot darker is because when calibrating a TV, you need to turn off all the settings and that's where the TV set up now. And the picture will look a little bit darker because when I calibrate it, I set the luminance up to 100 candlelight. And here's the settings one more time. So this is theater night mode. This is theater day mode. You see it gets that little bit brighter there. And this is very faint. And then if we go back to the calibrated settings, it's a little bit darker, but again, you can go in and change the brightness if you like. Now, in order to put these calibrated settings in the TV, you need to go over to your settings by hitting the gear on the remote control. And then we want to select picture. So as you see right here, we have it under PC game mode for calibration. And as you see the content type, the intelligent settings and the light sensor is all turned off. So the TV will not try to adjust itself. If we go into the brightness, the local dimming is turned off because the game mode will not let you do this, but you can add this setting to your theater mode, sports mode, or any mode that you like to get the same picture and you have access to the local dimming zones. But if you want to get the same settings from the calibration, set your brightness at nine, your contrast at 40, black levels at zero, gamma at 2.2. And then if we go into the color settings, your color is at 50, the hue at zero, color temperature is at warm one. And again, all these settings can be adjusted later on. We're going to the clarity. These are your motion settings. I turned everything off for the calibration, but again, you can turn these things back on. But sharpness was at 25. And then if we go into the calibrated settings, this is the most important part. As far as the color tuner, you won't be using this feature, nor did the calibration software do that. On the white balance, this is the most important part. So what the software did was a two point white balance. So make sure your red is at zero, your green offset is at negative two, your blue offset is at negative six, the red gain at positive nine, the green gain at positive 25, and the blue gain at negative 25. And again, these are not settings I created, the software did this automatic. As far as 20 point, you wanna leave that off because that's not what kind of calibration we did. And if we go back in here, you wanna make sure your gamma's at zero. But that is the settings. And as you can see here, the Calman service is turned on. I use this IP address on the computer that I use to uh, set up the calibration. Now keep in mind, these settings are what works for me. I'm just trying to give you the best settings for the 65 inch Hisense U7N. If you have the 75 inch, chances are that it will not work because that TV uses an ADS IPS panel, but you're free to try any of these settings because if you make a mistake, it's easy to go back into the picture profile and reset it back to the defaults. If you do decide to try out these settings, let me know in the comments below if it worked better for you or worse. That'd be interesting to know. I'm Tech Steve. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.